Okay, to start this guide off, let's get started with the character we're going to be using, which is Kentro. The reason we're using Kentro is because him and Pegasus Saya are the only two characters in the game that have one of every rarity. So we're going to go with Kentro because I happen to have him ready to get set up for this video. It's not important who the character is, it's just showing off the system and how it works. Okay, so in the past, the rarities kind of went as follows. We had 2-star, 3-star, 4-star, and 5-star characters. And there were some special characters, like Kenshiro, who had another stage after that, which was called the Jump version. Now, all these stages still exist, but there is another stage to the character card's evolution. Um, there's also a complete change to how evolution works, so let's quickly go through that. Okay, so let's say you want to evolve a card. When you want to evolve a card, you need to first off get it to max level. Which, in the case of, let's say, 2-star Kenshiro, would be level 20. In order to actually evolve, you're going to need cards of the same rarity. Now, the amount of cards you need is reflected by the amount of stars that are currently in the card. What I mean by that is, if you have 2-star Kenshiro, let's say, he's a 2-star, which means you need 2 cards and they both need to be 2-star. In the case of 3-star Kentro, 3 cards that are 3-star, 4-star Kentro, 4 that are 4-star, 5-star Kentro, 5 that are 5-star. And that's an important point, something that you may not have noticed is 5-star cards can now be evolved just like all the other rarities, and the 5-star card will evolve into Victory. I'm going to show that on screen now, me evolving Kentro into Victory Kentro. The cards at the top there are the ones that will transfer over boost to the main card when being used as evolution material. If they're the same type, 10% of their over boost gauge will be transferred over to the main card. If they have the same name, 100% will be transferred over. As you can see, the 5 star character cards I'm selecting to use as evolution material are all free to play units. You don't really want to use premium gacha only units here unless you have lots of copies of them and you don't intend to use them. Victory Rarity is essentially a pseudo 6 star rarity, the level limit goes up to 60, the stats increase and cards will get a special quote printed over the top of their artwork. Every card in the game has a Victory Rarity, regardless of what card they are and what evolutions they did or didn't have in the previous update. Cards like Kenshiro that have a Jump Awakening can actually reach Victory and Jump Awakening at the same time in a form that I've been calling V-Jump. You still need the medals from the corresponding event in order to Jump Awaken and you still need the 5-5 five, five stars in order to Victory Evolve, it really doesn't matter what order you do them in. And that's the end of the guide, if there's any questions just leave them in the comments, I hope I didn't miss anything out, uh, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.